Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Tuesday Night Tips with uh, Back to Health. My name is Alexander Dutyarov. I'm a physical therapist here at Back to Health. Um, it is Friday night, it is 10.30 at night, and we are still working. So we have the pleasure of our patient allowing us to videotape the treatment. And we're also going to give you a tip, something that you can do at home as well if you don't have the grasping tools. So this is a typical tendonitis of the elbow, basically um, tennis elbow. We're gonna be using Graston tools, or I'm sorry, Graston instruments, which is, you can see it right here. It's, um, uh, I'll show it right here. It's like a nice, beautiful set. It looks like this. It looks like a um, torture chamber, but I promise you it's not. Um, anyways, so, you, you, you can use it to assist you ultimately to mobilize uh, soft tissue. Um, it's also known as ASTEM or Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization. Ultimately, if it's any other uh, instrument other than Graston, it's called ASTEM. Uh, Grastons are very specific in order to use Graston technique um, as um, Claiming that it's a Graston technique, it has to be Graston instrument, and you have to be trained in Graston technique. Uh, anything else is considered ultimately um, ASTEM, ASTEM, which is again instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. So what I basically did, I just took a little bit of co cocoa butter, or you can use any kind of lotion that uh, sticks on the skin, and we're gonna evenly spread um, throughout the treatment area. So just like any other um, techniques that I would be doing like a massage or manual therapy technique we would start off with since this is a convex I'm gonna use a concave uh, instrument to basically to kind of scan through the skin and what I'm doing is I'm using my fingertips using my nociceptors to try to feel for any um, like rigidness or any um, like kind of bumps along the way um, that would guide me through if there's any issues or problems. So like let's say right here I feel a little bit of vibra vibration is the word that I was looking for. So I feel right here a little vibrations versus here it's not bad and I keep gliding. So right now what I'm doing I'm scanning her arm to see which way I see more tension. And as I'm gliding up, there's actually more tension going uh, towards her body versus away from her body. And you can see right here that now that it's starting to get red, which kind of clears my findings that I get from the instrument to what the body is showing me. You can see like a nice little red area. So I'll go nice and gentle. Um, and my strokes are one way. It's not a, a brushing back and forth. It's one way. So I go right now close to the body to away from the body or proximal to distal. And since we're trying to mobilize the fascia, whatever goes up ultimately uh, will be going um, the other opposite direction. Okay, so basically I'm kind of confident that this is where the area where she has the tension. As you could see, I went through the whole arm. Right here, it got red. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my instrument and I'm gonna go convex, which is her arm, on convex, which is gonna be a more fine point, which will allow me to get a little bit deeper into the treatment area. So again, uh, we're not gonna keep this video for too long because I don't want you to be bored. Uh, since these uh, instruments are not uh, easily available to you guys, what you can do, and by all means, I'm not trying to promote or change or make other therapists mad at me, uh, but I'll just give you a little tool that's something that you can use at home to help you uh, that you can try helping yourself ultimately. So if you have one of these beautiful things, a uh, spoon, um, you want to make sure that one, obviously it's clean. And again, this is not a proven technique. This is not an official instrument. Please don't um, quote me that I said it's okay. Uh, so you want to find something that has edges, but they're not very sharp or they're not too rounded because then you're not going to have an effect. And nice and simple, so you have the edge, you're gonna hold it with your fingertips and you can glide up. And you'll feel like vibrations. 
wherever you feel vibrate and you're going gentle you're not going anything heavy and this is not butter so you don't go back and forth so gentle up about 45 degree angle and you're gonna feel some vibrations and then you try it other way and you might feel a little bit more vibration wherever you feel those vibrations uh, or painful areas you're gonna ultimately then focus in so I went from doing the whole arm to now I'm focusing in and going a little bit deeper into it and again whatever you do one way you have to do an, op uh, an opposite way this is not muscle that we're focusing on it's fascia um, oh, okay so then now I'll switch over to get a little bit more fine point if I want to really kind of dig in there to maybe um, again go a little bit deeper to break down some scar tissue um, and hopefully decrease some of the pain again this is something that you're not gonna just supplement um, correction you're not gonna change over your typical treatment you still want to do your stretches you still want to do your strengthening exercises you definitely want to see a professional please don't quote me saying that, uh, you know, Dr. Alex said it's okay to use the spoon and not go see a doctor. Uh, this is not a fix at all. Um, but that's something that you can add at home to your stretches, to your strengthening. Um, try a spoon, glide back and forth. If it hurts, obviously, please stop. Don't do something that causes you discomfort. Um, that's not our goal. Definitely see a therapist, see your physician. They'll be able to guide it along. But this is like a, a tool that you can use at home and... Hopefully this tip will help you. Thanks for watching. Please comment below. Um, any feedback that you give us will definitely improve our treatment and you know give you more tips. Uh, thank you and thank you to our patient for volunteering.